Let's set up your Microsoft Word document according to the 7th edition of the APA Manual. First, click the Page Layout tab, then select the Margins option arrow. In the drop-down menu, select Normal to place a 1-inch margin on all sides, top, bottom, left, and right. To set the default APA font, click on the Home tab, then on the Font Dialog box launcher arrow. Under the Font setting, select Times New Roman, under the font style, select Regular, and under Size, select 12. The 7th edition of the APA Manual allows a short list of additional fonts, including Calibri, size 11, Arial, size 11, Lucida, size 10, and Georgia, size 11. While it is acceptable to use those fonts in, and those sizes, it is our recommendation to use Times New Roman, size 12, for all of your assignments, as it will keep the consistency for your papers and for your instructor's sake. Finally, be sure to click the default setting in the bottom left of the dialog box. Next, click on the Insert tab, then select the Page Number option arrow. In the drop-down menu, select the first option, Top of Page, then the third option, Plane Number 3. This will add page numbers to the upper right corner of your paper. For the seventh edition of the APA manual, the page number is the only information that goes in the header. To exit the page header area, double click on the word header or double click anywhere in the body of the document. Next, use the enter key to move your cursor down the page until it is about at the number two on the vertical margin or about one third down the page. Now click on the home tab and go to the line spacing tool. Click on the Options arrow and select 2.0, or double spacing, from the drop-down menu. Click on Options arrow again, and this time click Remove Space After Paragraph, if that's one of the options. Next, in the Alignment Tool section, select Center Alignment, and in the Font Tool section, select the B for Bold. Now, type the full title of your paper using regular title case capitalization, which means you capitalize all words except prepositions and articles fewer than five letters. Hit the Enter key twice to add two double-spaced lines, then type your name. Hit Enter again and type the name of your specific academic program, followed by a comma, and then the name of your institution, which for us is Point Loma Nazarene University. Hit enter again and on this line add your course which would include the prefix, the number, and the name of the course. For the next line add your instructor's name and then on the final line add the assignments due date. Now click the insert tab and select page break to insert a page break. You can also press Control Enter on a PC or Command Enter on a Mac. The page number should automatically be added to this second page, so we can move directly to the body of your paper. If your paper requires an abstract, type in the word abstract in bold and centered text. Now hit enter one time and at the top from the text alignment area choose left align and then deselect the bold option. In APA an abstract paragraph is not indented. It is 150 to 250 words and it provides a concise summary of your entire paper. For many or maybe for most assignments and papers that you submit an abstract will not be required, but make sure you check with your individual instructor about her or about his preference. After the abstract is complete, click on the Insert tab and select Page Break again. Just a reminder, you may also push Control Enter on a PC or Command Enter on a Mac. And now you're ready for the first page of the body of your paper. Click on the Home tab and select Center Alignment and also select Bold. Type in the full title of your paper again. B 
be sure to use title case. Again, that is where you capitalize all major words of your title. Hit enter one time to double space, then return to the Home tab. Deselect the bold option, then select Left Alignment to type the body of your paper. To indent your paragraph, hit the Tab key one time. When typing in the text of your paper, do not hit the Return or Enter key at the end of a line. Instead, allow the computer to conduct word wrapping. The computer will automatically wrap lines according to the margins and the line spacing you have set, and it is not necessary to hit Enter or Return until you want to start a new paragraph. At the end of a paragraph, hit Enter one time to double space, then hit Tab one time to indent. For some, you may find that the computer will automatically indent for you. Now begin typing your next paragraph. Any time that you use a source in your paper, you must provide an in-text citation to that source, which in APA consists of the author's last name and the year of publication inside of parentheses. If the source you're using doesn't identify an author, use the first several words of the source's title. When finished typing the body of your paper, click on the Insert tab and select Page Break again. This will insert a new page of your document for your list of references, which must go on a page by themselves after the body of your paper. Next, go to the Home ribbon and click on both the Bold option and the Center Alignment tool. Return to your document and type in the word References in the center top of your page, then hit Enter one time. Once again, click on the Home tab and deselect the bold option and select Left Align to align all of your text to the left. Now type in the information for each source, beginning with the author's last name, followed by a comma, then the initial of the author's first name, followed by a period. Then comes the date of publication, inside of parentheses, followed by a period. Now type in the title of the source you got your quotation or information from. Remember, in APA, the title of the source is not capitalized except for the first word of the title or any proper nouns. Following the title of the source, you may need to type a publication title if your article was published inside of a magazine, a journal, or newspaper. When typing the title of a publication, be sure to italicize it. To do that, first highlight the title, then go up to the Home tab and click on the I for the italics tool. Place a comma after this title and continue entering any information needed, including the periodical's volume number and issue number, if provided, followed by a comma, then inclusive page numbers. You may also need to add the source's DOI or the source's URL. To follow APA format and style, your references need to have hanging indentation. To do that, highlight the line or the lines you wish to indent, then go up to the hanging indent triangle on the top margin. Left-click on the little triangle and drag it to the one half inch mark. To begin your next reference, hit the Enter key. Be sure to maintain double spacing for all of your sources and in between them. Your paper should be evenly double spaced throughout. Online sources are used frequently today. One of the most common types is the online journal article. For this type of source, simply add the DOI or the Digital Object Identifier at the end of the citation. A DOI is a unique number or a unique URL assigned to specific online content. Treat the DOI as a URL. Make sure you keep the HTTP or the HTTPS and leave the blue underlined hyperlink if it's in your paper. If the source you're referencing has not been assigned a DOI, use the page URL from that online journal, magazine, newsletter, or book. There is no need to include the words retrieved from. As you fill out your references, for each entry, be sure to include the specific information for that specific type of source that you're using. The APA manual and the APA website provide specific guidelines in a number of examples ranging from books 
to online streaming videos, to podcasts, and to Instagram posts. So, for any questions, it is probably best to reference the APA manual or the APA website.